How's it going everyone? Want to give you guys a heads up on a brand new PlayStation 5 system software update and a pretty major one at that. Adding some new features, some new tweaks, we'll go over all of that. Looks like a notable PlayStation 4 exclusive will be headed on over to PlayStation 5. We'll cover that and a message from Ubisoft regarding Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. I haven't talked about this game too much but it was the first game I beat of 2024 and it was like the first major release of 2024. I really enjoyed it. We'll cover their message and my thoughts on the game at the end of this video. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to ask you guys, please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts. It really does help out the channel a lot and it is much appreciated. But a new PlayStation 5 system firmware update has dropped and some new features included as well. Audio related features, but pretty nice ones. Let's go over them. We added new features in parties. In the parties tab, you can now see the list of parties you've joined in the past. You can easily restart a party by just selecting it from the recent list. Nice quality of life update there. We've updated the device software for the Pulse Elite wireless headset and the Pulse Explore wireless earbuds. You can now use the sound equalizer feature. You can now use the side tone feature, which makes it easier for you to hear your own voice in voice chat. It's pretty cool there, and they do have a more in-depth post about that. When you have a Pulse Elite wireless headset or Pulse Explore, Explore wireless earbuds nearby, a notification will now appear to let you connect them quickly. You can now easily switch the connection from your PC to your PS5 through this notification. We've improved system software performance and stability, that's your typical thing, and we've improved the messages and usability on some screens. Now, the PlayStation uh, official page also has some more insight on the equalizer settings. Your audio, your way. Today's new PS5 update adds equalizer settings, a side tone feature, and other enhancements for Pulse Explorer earbuds and the upcoming Pulse Elite headset. Now, these are more premium audio devices. Like, they cost a pretty penny, so keep that in mind. How to change audio settings for your Pulse Explorer wireless earbuds. Adjust equalizer, side tone volume, 3D audio, and more to make your wireless earbuds sound just the way you want. You can change the audio settings for your earbuds buds through only your PlayStation 5 console. Equalizer and side tone volume settings are stored on your earbuds once you configure them through your PS5 console. If you connect earbuds to other devices, they'll keep the same settings. How to adjust PlayStation link volume on your Pulse Explorer wireless earbuds. Both of your earbuds have a volume button on the top of the earbud. Use either one to raise or lower the PlayStation link volume. Use the tactile dot on the plus side of the volume button to help you adjust the volume without taking off your earbud. You can also adjust the volume from your PlayStation 5 console through the sound controls in the the control center. We also go over mic information and things of that nature, but a nice audio update for the PlayStation 5 system software and a nice quality of life feature update with the parties tab being adjusted as well. I know some of you guys are totally not talk to anyone and game mode these days, but uh, if you are still playing multiplayer games, that's uh, something that I think is quite nice and Obviously, cross-game chat is in there. You guys remember in the PlayStation 3 days when cross-game chat wasn't a thing? Man, that was one of the deal-breakers for a lot of people. But thankfully, in the year of 2024, not only do we have cross-game chat, we are adding quality of life feature updates to said cross-game chat, so that's quite nice. But there you go, that is the update. All right, moving on from that, pretty surprising news and kind of out of nowhere, noted by Bibliacoon, until dawn, the PlayStation 4 exclusive will be headed to PlayStation 5 and PC. So this is expected to see an announcement in the next two or so weeks. Until Dawn, obviously done by Supermassive Games, and they had done a lot of quality titles. They put out The Quarry, they obviously put out um, The Man of Madon, all of those games that were published by Bandai Namco, and Until Dawn, I feel like, was the game that really put them on the map. It was released back in 2015, and I remember when it came out, yo, like, $60 was a little bit crazy for that game. Like, I don't think anybody was down to pay 60 bucks for it, but if you got it on the cheap, if you just wanted a game that was reminiscent of a cheesy horror movie, that's exactly what you got with Until Dawn. Prior to Until Dawn, uh, Supermassive had worked on a lot of lower key titles. Like, they worked on Killzone HD, the PlayStation 3 version of the game. They worked on DLC for Little Big Planet PS Vita. Um, yeah, but Until Dawn was really their coming out party. And since then, they've done a lot of games. The Inpatient, uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology, all of those titles. And they are also helping to work on Little Nightmares 3, which I wasn't too aware about. And in 2022, they put out The Quarry, which was published by 2K games, but until dawn, PS5, PC, hopefully they get the price point of this right. Really, it shouldn't be anything more than $30. I have a feeling that they might go the $40 route, but 
yeah, it should really be $30 at most, and ideally, like, 20 bucks. Like, I know I'm gonna be a little bit cheap when it comes to things like this, but Until Dawn is one of those games that really shouldn't be that expensive. It came out eight years ago, um, around eight years ago, um, and it's not a game that was initially worth the 60 bucks, so in my opinion, it should be around 20 to 30 bucks at most. Lastly... Prince of Persia The Lost Crown started off 2024 with a bang, and since then, we've had three releases that have all cracked 90 on Metacritic. Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, Tekken 8, and uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. We gotta drop the Yakuza. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Um, Prince of Persia, I believe, is sitting at an 86. Super respectable score. I know maybe I'm putting too much credence towards Metacritic scores, but man... Hot start to the year, great start for the year, and Prince of Persia The Lost Crown was one of those games that I was like, man, I don't know how this game is gonna do. It is coming out right before the release of a lot of other major games. Um, I ended up playing the game, Ubisoft hooked me up with a copy of the game, and guys, I really enjoyed it. I am still of the mindset that $50 may have been a little bit too much, and the $60 Digital Deluxe Edition Early Access, I mean, you guys know how I feel about that, absolute nonsense, but the game is a Metroidvania really good. Some of the boss fights for a Metroidvania are really, really well done, and uh, production value-wise, I thought really good. The visual style, I'm not gonna say it's a technical masterclass, but runs really well, and the gameplay is incredibly satisfying, and I think the platforming was really well done. Some of the puzzles are a little bit eh, but overall, I thought the game was really good, and Ubisoft put out a message, since the release of Prince of Persia The Lost Crown last week, our teams have been amazed by the warm welcome you've given our game. After launching to strong critical acclaim, it's amazing to see players sharing such love and positivity for the game. It's been an honor to develop a game for such prestigious and beloved brand, and we could not be happier that our action-adventure platformer twist on the franchise has been embraced, embraced by the players. A big con a congratulations to the Ubisoft team and the partners involved in this project. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably are waiting on a deeper discount for this game. It's a Ubisoft game. They tend to go on sale fairly quickly. Um, I would say once Prince of Persia The Lost Crown gets to 20 to 30 bucks, if you have yet to pick it up, absolutely do so. I think a lot of you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised by the game. It was really, really well done. Story's pretty good. Um, I just think, you know, how they handled the reveal of this game, I'll just go back to that and be like, guys... You fumbled the reveal of this game so hard. It was so bad. Whoever greenlit that debut trailer, I just don't know what to say. You're not doing this game any favors. And I knew this game was going to fight an uphill battle because so many people want the Prince of Persia The Sands of Time remake. And that is seemingly... Well, we don't know what's going on with that. I don't even know if it's going to come to fruition. But Lost Crown, they just didn't do a good job of debuting this game. And that's so important that I think when this game was debuted, you just saw people memeing on it left and right. And if you really just looked at at the game and assessed it from a gameplay standpoint it always looked like a good game and then it came out and it delivered and you know i really enjoyed the game 50 dollars again that's a that's a tall tall ask for a game like this you can complete it in you know less than 15 hours 12 hours even um but overall i really enjoyed the game and i would definitely give it a shout get super super challenging at times there's a wide variety of difficulty settings but man the game can get pretty difficult especially some of the boss fights um yeah, so keep that in mind as well, but well worth it, and I definitely give it a recommendation. But that's going to do it for me again, PlayStation System Software Features. New update on that, a lot of audio settings have been updated, party settings. Until Dawn seemingly coming to PlayStation 5, and Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. If you have yet to check it out, yeah, the $50 price tag may push you guys away, but keep that on your wish list. 20 to 30 bucks, I would say for sure, pick it up. Um, it's a game that I don't think you want to miss. I really did enjoy my time with it, but that's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.